welcome to this uh, Woolly Dermy needle felt tutorial. Today I'm going to make one of these. Really easy little pencil topper. Great for kids. Keeps the fingers away from the needles as well. So all you'll need is a sponge, a needle that's a 32 gauge, some black wool, some white wool and a pencil. Start off, take a strip of wool, take your pencil hold it there and just start to wind it tightly around the top of your pencil simply as that and when you've got it wound on just give it a few little felts to hold in place hold it there take another thread of wool and once again twist that round the top of your pencil that will keep it tight on the pencil and felt again and this will form the head so a nice round shape felt that on there until it's nice and smooth and felt it on so wound your wool on you've given it a really good felt all over when you're felting, try to avoid hitting the pencil because you don't want to break your needle. So try and felt away from the pencil. If you hit it a little bit, it'll be fine, but try to be gentle and not to hit the needle on the pencil too hard. So felt it all nice and round so you've got a nice smooth finish on your wool. So next you need to add is a little snout. So just get a small amount of wool at a time, wind that around your finger and start to felt that on to where the front of your little pencil topper is going to be. So felt that down to get the shape of his nose. You might need to add a little bit more because that might just felt away. So the wool that I'm using today and that I use for everything I do is British wool and this in particular is a rare breed British wool called White Face Woodland. So you just need to add a little bit more wool now to make that nose a little bit bigger. So just keep adding. Now there's lots of lovely wool out there that you can use. That's British wool. There's no need to use anything else other than that. There's all the colours that you need and they're just brilliant for felting. So I'm starting to make the shape of the front of his nose. You just have to keep working, keep pelting that down until you're happy with the shape that you've got. So when you're happy with that shape, just felt it so it's nice and firm. And you've got that little nose appearing. And when you're happy with that shape, just put that to one side and you're going to make some ears for him. So just pull off a small amount of wool, divide that into two, and then fold that over. So you've got one ear. Work on your pad, but you have to keep turning it so it doesn't stick to your pad. Keep turning it over and over, and then you'll just start to work to get that ear shape. Nice oval, you can be, have these any size you want, make them bigger, make them smaller, play about the size. You can make these in any colour you wanted as well, it doesn't have to be white, you can make a brown hair, a pink hair, whatever colour you want to make him, he's yours. So that's one ear, very quickly, you probably spend a little bit more time than this making these. And so add a second ear. So Felt those to get that ear shape. Turn them over. And felt. And felt those down until you've got a nice flat ear. Try not to get it stuck to your pad too much. I know that's a bit tricky on a flat piece. And then when you're happy with the shape of the ears. So, got your 
head and you've got your ears. Take your, both your ears, just tack, hold them on and just quickly tack them on to the back of the head. So, just turn that over and just check that you're happy with the position. That one's a little bit low. So just pull that up and belt them on nice and firmly. You always give them another felt after. And eyes. So I've just got a little bit of black wool that I've cut up. And firstly, just put one eye on there. A little bit more for the other eye. Add a little bit of it at a time until you're happy with the size and shape of the eye. You spend a little bit more time with And then to make the mouth, just use a bit of this black wool, pull off a little thread, just scrunch that up for the nose. A little nose on there. Pop that on. Another thread. Put that for the little bit that goes down and belt that away. And then finally, that thread to make his little smile. So just take your time with this, spend a little bit more time and it's got a bit of a wonky smile this one but when you're happy belt him all nice and neat get some of those loose ends in and a little bit of extra detail as well and there you go find a little pencil topper thanks to woolly squirrel